certainly we see the centre of economic gravity shifting towards the east. And as that happens generally with the economy, so travel will follow. And I think that's really the major trend we're looking at in the next, next few years, certainly the next decade. Two first places we're looking at in identifying new sources of revenue for the sector are assisting passengers along the so-called weak points of the travel chain. And the second would be a more personalised service, particularly as regards travel agents, going beyond what's traditionally been done to really, really see what the customer needs are across the whole of the holiday experience. The biggest opportunities for airlines and agents over the next decade are certainly looking at a travel value chain. Where are the, if you like, weak points in that chain at the moment? What can be done to address passenger needs, traveller needs? We're seeing some elements or some indications that agents are positioning themselves more as lifestyle managers. Maybe not influencing every aspect of people's lives, but certainly looking at the travel value chain more holistically, thinking about what issues and aspects of travel people are or aren't interested in, trying to manage and sculpt their business around that. The travel experience to date has been very fragmented simply because many of the major players are concentrating on what they have traditionally done. Airlines are concentrating on being on airlines, agents are concentrated on a narrow idea of what agents are, so people haven't really put the dots together, joined the piece of the jigsaw. I mean, we're seeing the indications they're starting to do that in a world where information is easier to obtain and pass along, and so I think that's why that's happening now. I think we're seeing cabin environments become much more focused on the individual rather than the segment. Certainly we're seeing the rise of new classes like premium economy as a bridge between um, business and economy. Um, we're looking at things like smartphones which might give airlines information about what particular passenger preferences are potential in the future. So we're seeing that kind of fragmentation certainly in many respects already. Ancillary services aren't necessarily a silver bullet for airlines. They do provide some benefits to airlines. However, airlines can't rely completely on those services. They're neither fool's gold nor a silver bullet, something in between, I would say. One thing that I think that we could change about the travel experience to make it better for the passenger would be the fragmentation we face at the ground level. One gets off a plane, um, one could be confused, tired, whatever, and you have to make your own way. Addressing that weak point in the value chain is really something that should be looked at by airlines, agents, or other interested parties.